All right, back. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's way more dramatic than it needed to be. Um, I wonder if there's, I don't know, maybe there's some mod that, that it's how dark it gets in the build. I, I mean, I, okay. That, like sunlight shining through the roof, sure. But down here, like, that doesn't make any sense. There's lights. <sighs> Mr. Bright, about your apartment. Is the way clear? Yeah, we can begin working on the plumbing in the basement. Can we talk more about your book? The one you gave us already? <laughs> I, what? What? <laughs> Praise the creator and bless you, wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, wanderer. There is much to be done. Okay. Uh, did I get a second book? Paradise Lost. I'd like I have the those marks on it. Uh, book Paradise Lost. Yeah. Hmm. I wasn't planning to stay here forever. Well, yeah, you can come, but... I already have one right now. Well, what do I have, then? <laughs> Great, I'll try to find... No, not you, sorry. All right. You did good, smooth skin. Never thought I'd get out of that room. Oh, you're going to space Later. too. Yeah, sorry about all your friends down here. Uh, you know, some stuff happened and whatnot. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Uh huh. Where's. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. Okay. Um, what do you do here? I'm the Flock's resident engineer. I've always been good with machines. 
Jason says the great journey would have been impossible without me. Of course, my skills aren't much use unless I have the right materials. That's where you come in. Mm-hmm. Uh, why don't they let you work on the launch pad? When I joined the flock, Jason made it clear that he wanted me to supervise the repairs, not do them myself. It would be a waste of my gifts to work on just one system at a time. From up here, I've been able to supervise the entire project. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the Great Journey will use those rockets? Obviously. It's taken months, but I've nearly got them in working order. Soon they'll take us... Oh, I shit. was skeptical at first, of course, being a man of science. I clicked. But Jason is certain, and I believe in Jason. Jason and the Argonauts. How can I help? I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Hmm. Uh, let's track down the igniting agent. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. Okay. Um, any tips? Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers. It's hard to know where the components might turn up, if they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. Okay. Uh, time for me to go. Later. Hmm. Alrighty then. Let's, uh, no, we can just go to Novak. We don't need to go to Clark Field. No offense, but I need to focus on getting more rest when I'm off duty. I'm not sleeping so good. So now's not a good time. If you want to talk, catch me when I'm on duty. I'm up at the dinosaur after 9 p.m. Got it. Cliff, I, I can't talk to you when you're back. Well, what the? Come on in. What? What the fuck's going on there? Cliff, I think you're getting robbed. Welcome back. Can I get you anything? Um, is there a radioactive material in your rocket souvenirs? It would explain the glow and the illnesses. I, uh, well, I don't really know. Would that sour you on buying one if it did? Uh, I'd like to buy all of your remaining rocket souvenirs. Really? I never thought I'd see the day. I mean, the day I'd part with them for such an incredibly low price, with so many other offers flooding in. But I like you. I think maybe it's time. All that's left is in the storage room here. You can buy the key from my store. You don't have any offers on the rockets. You'd be lucky to get money at all. Okay, I admit it. They've been collecting dust since before I got here. You can have them dirt cheap. Okay. Sure thing. Have a look.
right storeroom key. We got a katana. Dang. I was hoping I could do an inspect on that. Alright, so a protective sheath and a balanced grip. How you doing? What are you up to? Hey there. Yeah? What's going on? You, um... Buddy, what the fuck are you doing? Get... Can I fucking Out. kill this guy? This guy's annoying. He almost made me accidentally steal that gun. Dispose of nuclear waste, just stuff it in children's toys. I mean, if I had a bunch of radium paint I wanted to get rid of, Prim has a new sheriff. Just I'd paint Hot Wheels with it. What's the description say? Stinky, roar. Spray some rat away in there, like get a spray bottle. And... Listen, buddy. Welcome back. Gonna get. So we got the isotope 239 igniting agent. Uh, halfway there then. found the components we discussed uh let's see what about these rocket souvenirs the stuff inside glows could have just brought you fucking glow sticks yes that's isotope 239 all right and there's enough here to launch the rockets now all i need is the thrust control modules okay any tips Scavengers wouldn't know the value of the modules just by looking at them. If you know any junk dealers in the area, I'd start there. Okay. Later. Well, it sounds like we're going to see old bitch Gibson. Why is the 
fucking scabbard for my sword on the ground. Mrs. Gibson. Oh. Well. Hmm. Let's see here. All right, so I wanted to get that. That requires a barter of 70. But I also wanted to get um, this, which requires strength of seven. So let's. Mm. See, I don't know. Maybe there's another way I can increase my strength without having to waste one of these on that. machine. Yeah. May as well. Ooh. Another manual. You saw nothing. Alright, if I have hey, this, can I give it to Delilah? Something? Lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. Uh-huh. Show me what you have for sale. Happy to do it. Do you have any thrust control modules from Repcon in stock? As it so happens, I do have some thrust modules, but they're expensive. 500 caps worth of expensive. Hmm. Unless you think you'll find another buyer soon for such specialized parts. Eh, fair enough. It's not like anyone's ever wanted to buy them before. 250 caps it is. Uh, here you go. Pleasure doing business with you.
What? You hear the sound. Log playback continue? What? Oh. What? Hey! Subject, my name is Whitley. What? I'm a researcher at Adams Air Force Base. Until recently, I was in charge of the Duraframe reinforcement project for the combat model iBots. iBot Duraframe Subject E is both the prototype and the last functional model in this test group. I was prepared to make several significant upgrades to the machines. However, as the project was canceled and all Duraframe assets are being diverted to Hellfire Armor, I am sending this model to the Navarro outpost. If you're listening to this log from one of our Enclave outposts in Chicago, give this unit whatever repairs it needs so it can continue to Navarro. Subject E, diagnosis complete. Begin recording. My name is Whitley. Okay. Hmm. Um, it's also a, yeah. Hello, what can I do for you? So this girl's from uh, World of Pain. Where'd you get all this ammo from? Most of it comes from traders. She knows that I'm pretty good with reloading bends, so if she gives me any spin ammo she comes across, we take share the profit. I made quite a reputation around here, so people know to come see me for ammunition. Any jobs I can do for you? Yeah, if you think you can hand yourself in a fight, we have ourselves a never worsening ghoul problem to the east. I've spoken to Manny about it in the past, but he thinks they're coming from or at least heading to Repcon in the west. I have reason to doubt that. First, the heavy radiation around Clark Field area seems to attract both feral ghouls and geckos. There is one main tactical difference between those two monsters. Uh, geckos have a lot of trouble opening doors, but the ferals still seem to have a knack for that sort of thing. Uh, I've seen ghouls exiting the old Clark Reservoir myself. I have no idea how many could potentially be down there. On top of that, I've completely lost contact with a local gang of teens who lived in the nearby bunker. bunker. Several very dangerous ferals have been spotted in the area, bigger and faster than usual. Dangerous enough that even the NCR got involved until they lost their entire team in the tunnel system down there. The place used to be an underground metro shipping hub, but now it's a rumble street rubble-strewn maze bunker was built so the hub could continue to function even after the war seems the tunnels themselves were not uh, fuck it. the gang that lived down there could be pretty obnoxious at times but they were learning I was helping them out uh, I'd like to know what happened to them if possible also the NCR have been finding out what's causing these mutations they have snipers posted in town now though usually they wear plain clothes as not to draw attention if you could find out anything I'll pay a thousand caps just like they promised me Wait, what? Uh, also, there's one final thing. We'd like some of those ghouls dealt with permanently. For every 12 severed ghoul ears you bring me, I'll give you something special for my own collection. Only those from the east of Novak, though. I can't afford to t pay you to take out every single ghoul in the state alone. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Thanks, I'm really glad someone cares enough to help. I'll mark the areas on your Pip-Boy map. Here, take these two. Those areas can be pretty heavily irradiated, so you need some protection. Okay. Uh, let me see what we have for sale. Fuck. It's <laughs> a lot of reading. What's your story? Okay, well, I was born in a family of scavengers, and as a result, I specialized in two things, guns and junk. Guns are expensive, though, so I took a job. I took to learning about ammo instead. 
for example, did you know that standard 5mm ammo goes through the armor better compared to 5.56? Uh, anyway, a few years ago I wandered into Novak and eventually settled here in Gibson's junkyard. Let's just say it suits my style. Cool, that's it for now. <laughs> okay. We got our thrust control modules. I'm gonna head back. And uh, we'll cut. 